This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discovery scores. I'm on Unit 3, Animations and Games, Lesson 15, Velocity, Part 9. They started us off with some code. Ooh, a fish. Let's go ahead. Oh, I can't even test it? No. Make a prediction. Oh, we have to make... Okay, okay. One advantage of using the velocity block inside condition... Well, changing velocity with position. One advantage of using... Bull one advantage to using the velocity blocks inside conditionals, conditionals are if blocks, right, are these things, if, where you check something, checks a condition, is, is that your sprite keeps moving even after the condition stops being true. For example, you only had to press a key once to launch your flybot, and it kept moving forever. The code below uses an if statement to make a fish sprite move in different directions. Do this. Look at the if statement and check the sprite's position and set and set its velocity. Check the position. So the sprite's going to start in dead center, right? 200, 200. We set the animation to fish at R. And it's at the very top, its velocity is set to X. What are we checking here? And set its velocity. Okay. But then we drop down into here. And we say, if fish, okay, this is a comment, that's for us. And this is our draw loop, it runs over and over, 30 times a second. If fish loop, if fish reaches the left edge, fishes move right. Comments are for programmers, not for uh, the computer, right? The computer skips this when running. So if it reaches the left edge, move right. If fish x reaches zero, or fish dot x. Okay, so if the fish's x property is zero, Right? So if it is less than zero, meaning, hey, you're going beyond this wall thing, the edge, it drops in, right? That would be true. Our conditional statement, our if is, the computer says, is fish's x less than zero? If it's true, the computer drops in and reads this code. Finish, fish, set animation r. So we make sure the animation is set. I, I bet r stands for right, okay? Because it's going to be then headed towards the right. And then fish velocity equals 2. Oh, yes, because you want x to increase. Because as x increases, your fish will move this way. You can see x growing right there. All right, the other if statement. If fish dot x, so if the x property is greater than 400, meaning, hey, you went beyond this edge. If x is more than 400, the computer would say, if greater than 400, it checks this condition. If it is true, it runs the code in here. If it's not true, that's fine. It just jumps below it, right? So uh, we'll say that is true. The fish's animation is set to L, which I would assume is left, and the velocity is then negative 2, which is going to be that way. And then we draw the sprite. We loop back around. We blew the background, right? Because we then want to make the fish move a little. And remember, 30 times a second, you're not going to see a blank background. It checks these two conditions again, free draws the sprite a little over. All right, so... With your partner, I guess we're partners, hi partner, discuss what you think the code will do and write your answer. Once you've submitted, ooh, and as a teacher, I want you to know, I see these answers, they're really easy to read, they're really easy for me to look at. My students hit submit and they just come in a single page and I can read them all. So make sure you think about this. Also, I am going to answer this, but you need to write your answer in your own words, right? Plagiarism, as a teacher, big deal. So I'd like to help, I'd like to talk about this, make sure you put your answer in your own words. Uh, look at the if statement that check and set its velocity. Okay, so the fish is going to start by moving. Uh, if its velocity is positive at first, it's going to start by moving right. By moving right across the screen. The draw loop checks if the fish has gone beyond either edge comma if so comma the fish animation changes to face the other direction and the fish is velocity changes to 
to move in the op opposite ooh, direction. The fish's animation. The fish velocity changes to move. Maybe the fish is clearer, more clear. Move the fish in the opposite direction. So that is my answer. I'm sure there's a spelling in here, error in there, but you get the point. Let's hit run now. And remember, once I hit run, I can't change this. And your teacher gets your answer. Boom. And let's see. Hit the edge. Boo. Back and forth like a fancy fish ping pong ball. So that's what I got. Put it in your own words um, or come up with your own answer if you think I'm wrong. But great. Let's keep going.